the next thing that we're going to move into is the conditional statements and the comparison operators that we're going to use with these conditional statements. So there are two flavors of conditional statements. The first thing that we're going to talk about is the if else, if and else statement. The second flavor of this conditional statement is the switch case default statement. Both have their functionalities in different perspectives, but both of them are used to control the flow of the program. So what does the conditional statements do? They check the given code, they check the given condition with the program and then they execute what is intended by the programmer. If that situation is not met, it then moves to the next block of code and executes it. And if still it does not find the condition which meets its uh, prerequisites, then it moves to the next part. If there's no next part, then it stops the program. But what does it have to do with a program that we talked about in our FAQ section, the, in the section that we discussed the FAQ, the previous section that we talked about array. So this if conditioning statements can be used to secure our systems. To secure our systems, we can use these if statements so that our users or some malicious users don't tamper with our query strings or place a value that is not intended to be produced inside the program. Suppose they go on producing a decimal point. So what will this decimal point do to our program? This won't actually do anything because I'm not running an entire website, but if the malicious user goes on using this decimal number or using another sort of number or a string or another tags inside this query strings, he's gonna blow up the system. So to ensure security in our systems, we also need this if conditioning. Let us now take a look at an example and let us take the example of this new year if again. So suppose you have a red shoe in your home and you wanna buy a red jersey so that it matches the color of the shoe. So what happens when you go to the shop? you reason with yourself that if I buy this red jersey this is going to match with the color of my shoes otherwise this is not going to match so in a programming perspective we can write this as the along with the format if then comes the conditioning part and this is followed by the block which is enclosed inside this curly braces and you can also include additional ifs by using this else if then followed by the conditional part and then again followed by the block of code that will be placed inside this and then finally you can place an else statement that won't take a condition but it will take a block of code so what happens when we use that example of a jersey so you go to the shop and you think that if the color of the jersey Suppose if the color of the jersey is equal to red, then we can use the write output function and print the string that it will match my color of the shoes I'm not writing the entire part so this is gonna happen if the color is not red if the color is not red suppose if then and then I go on producing another condition inside my if statement so if the color is equivalent to suppose orange I don't have space for this so I'm just overwriting it so we can output another string perhaps and this string will say that's okay otherwise I'm going to output in my program that I'm not going to buy it I'm not buying it so in short, we're looking at a logical programming statements in here. So if the color of my jersey, if the color of the jersey that I'm going to buy is not red, then if the color of the jersey is red, then it will match and I'll buy it. If it's orange, it's still okay. 
otherwise I'm not going to buy it because it's something else and it's not going to match so let's have a look of how we can ensure security in our previous code that we created using the arrows so first of all as usual we'll need a new page and let us save this as conditional dot cfm now there are two ways of writing conditional statements in cold fusion the first is by using the cf if tags or the tag pairs and the cf else tag and the other way of writing is the usual way of writing in any other programming language is the uh, using the if else if else statement inside the cf script so we're going to look at both of these ways so before we start over our coding we need to look at few comparison operators in and how they differ from the usual programming way these operators as you can see this comparison operators the one that we have just seen is called the equals to sign so in programming in general perspective we know that one equals to sign means equals to so a number will be uh, suppose we have a uh, equation and we can write 1 plus 1 equals to 2 this is the usual general or the traditional way of using in in mathematics but in programming this equals to is an assignment operator in when we declared a variable we have seen that suppose we declare a variable called i and this is equals to 0 in programming this is, means that I am actually storing this value of 0 inside this variable i so what do we do when we want to use this equals to mathematical equals to inside our programming we use double equals to sign so when we want to write this mathematical expression inside our program we need to write it as 1 plus 1 double equals to 2 so in programming this would mean 1 plus 1 equals to 2 in the same way as it meant when we used it in our general mathematical practice the second thing that we need to notice is that cold fusion also has the form of using comparison words so in conditioning we looked at if the color is equals to red then we're going to do something inside our block of code but you can actually replace this equals to with this et or is this two means the same thing as this equals to you wouldn't find this comparison words in other programming languages but you would find certainly this equals to symbols in other programs so this is new to cold fusion and this is quite unique to cold fusion from other programming languages so if you go on using et capital letter et you need to remember that both of these letters need to be capital in uppercase then you can go on using this color et red this would produce the same thing as using this double equals to sign now if you go on using a mathematical expression and if you want to check that the value of a certain variable whether the value of the certain variable is greater than or equals to or less than or equals to another variable then you can go on using this symbol this greater than and greater than equals to symbol or you can also alternatively use this GT or GT which means the same thing in programming in cold fusion and you can use this in conditional statements and also in loops we also looked at while loops for loops and do while loops so you can actually write this like we had a variable named I which is an index value that stored the value of zero initially and we looked at the while looping and we looked at and uh, we place the condition of that while i needs to be less than equals to zero and if this is true while this condition is true go on repeating this block of code and but you can go on replacing this symbol great uh, less than equals to symbol with this lte this would produce the same result as if producing as if with producing this uh, less than equals to symbols so this is just the same thing so this operators are important in every programming so you can actually use both of this and you can go on using the cf cf if tag 
and this cf if tag will actually require the usage of this comparison words so you need to remember that so now let's get back